Hi, it's Nate at Nikon Metrology. Doing a quick summary of the Nikon iNexiv VMA weekly web demonstration from February 6, 2020. During the demo today, we created several programs. Uh, in this summary, uh, we'll do just a quick execution of a couple of programs that we've created through the course of our hour demo. And then we'll go back and give just a quick recap on the programming environment, you know, particularly programming for 3D parts where we're using a combination of both optical probing and tactile probing. So I'll start again just by running the program. Program starting with pattern recognition, which allows us to effectively have a part that's mislocated from one program execution to the next. Uh, that pattern recognition will help cope with parts that are both mislocated and uh, rotationally mislocated on the stage from one program execution to the next. So immediately after our vision measurement of the alignment, we've got some tactile measurements. So using a star probe, uh, these are all features uh, when they were programmed during the demo that were picked from the 3D CAD model. And the path that was executed uh, was created automatically just based on the CAD geometry. And then seamlessly transitioning from the touch probe back to the vision probe. So we've got a combination of feature measurements that are using both backlighting top lighting strategy. And then finally, top irregular edge of this 3D part, uh, we've got some wavy surface where we're going to be measuring a profile measurement. So the report output automatically at the end of the program execution includes, in this case, some graphics that show that profile evaluation of that wavy surface. Uh, also some graphics with some general, uh, just traditional uh, reporting outputs. And then finally, text reporting outputs for what uh, looks like feature location and size for all of these different features uh, in the part program. And then actually around this evaluation of the last circle that was measured optically. This gives a pretty good summary of inspection on 3D parts. Uh, you know, all of these inspections are done um, measurement-wise just by picking the features immediately from the CAD model. So with the tactile probe, for example, uh, I can pick a feature. Software creates for me automatically a uh, measurement path. Conversely, using the optical probe, I can pick the adjacent slot. And of course, with no top lighting, we're not going to see a lot in terms of that edge. But just by virtue of turning on a top light and adjusting the location of our tool, uh, we can apply those lighting settings uh, to our measurement. Uh, we should also be able to. We edit this, account for using a slightly wider image tool. And finally, we've got a measurement. Just one in contrast to the other tactile measurement, vision measurement. You can see that you can very quickly transition from one to the other. Uh, maybe another example real quick with tactile probe. Like Pick a 3D conical feature, tactile measurements in CMA Manager. You've got all kinds of adjustments that can be done in a very visual manner. And then finally, if I ask the software to perform that measurement immediately, the measurement is performed.
So save our program here and let's transition back to a 2D workpiece. So just like before, I'm going to start by playing the program. In this particular case, I programmed purely using the optical probe. So you see that's actually remembered as program step. So here we're searching for the workpiece and actually looks like it's in a different location than it was previously. So here we can use the joystick to locate our workpiece. From that point on, after relocating the part with the joystick, the program executes automatically. And again, the report is generated automatically. So we've got some flyer points on our edge here. Otherwise, similar type form evaluation on a circle, uh, similar irregular profile on the uh, two arc segments. And just as an example, if we rotate the workpiece, and replay the program. We're taking advantage of pattern recognition operation at the very beginning that automatically reorients the, the program and, and CAD and subsequent measurements. So very quickly and easily we can replace work pieces from one location on the stage to the next and successfully run those programs without having a lot of extra manual manual interventions. So here on this other profile, it looks like I've got a couple noise points where I could probably make some changes to my edge thresholding to, uh, I'm guessing, throw away some noise. Here, if we just go to that feature and test fire our tool, yeah, we can see we've got some noise on the stage here that I probably need to adjust my edge thresholding to deal with. So maybe a better way to address a particular you know, this type of feature. We'll just edit this program as it is. We're going to do an edge profile. So instead of using a simple you know, just blob tool that's measuring a whole conglomerate of points simultaneously, we're going to do an open loop uh, unknown scan. So basically we're defining a start point, a direction point, and then finally and endpoint and maybe we'll take a point every 0.25 millimeters so immediately software measures point cloud with 80 points and maybe we want more points than that we can simply reduce our step distance remeasure so we see in teach mode the visual update of that tool uh, for each increment of the tool. Yeah, okay, we're happy with that. Uh, you will notice, however, when we run the program, that measurement happens a whole lot faster. The idea being that you get to see what's happening in a little better in teach mode as you're teaching those types of measurement operations. So now we can actually go to our reporting operation. So just like this one. And we'll replace cloud one with cloud two. And when we take a look at our report now, we should have some updated measurement data. So I think that sums it up for today. Uh, join us next week for another typically one hour session of CMM Manager demo, uh, actually available both for traditional CMM, typically on Tuesdays, and 
the Nikon iNexo systems typically conducted on Thursday afternoons. Uh, you can find us at cmmanager.com forward slash demo. Again, I'm Nate Frost with the Columbus Development Team. Appreciate everybody's time today. We'll talk next time.